Yes, uh, this is Uno Line TV. It's a beautiful Saturday. Uh, siku ambayo watu wengi sana wako wamepumzika majumbani lakini pia eh, kuna mambo ya kijamii lazima yaendelee. Yaani uweze kupumzika alafu shule nyingine za kijamii zisiendelee. Of course, uh, naitwa Chance Tizi Day kwenye Instagram uh, lakini pia YouTube tunatumia Uno Line TV. Unaweza kusubscribe hapa lakini pia ukigusa kengele kwa ajili ya kupata habari eh, na matukio yote ambayo tunakuwekea kule utakuwa umetisha kina maana wa sasa. Uh, leo niko upande za Bamaga uh, kijitonyama uh, sema ambayo tumekutana na event mbayo actually mkutanisha watoto wa kike ama ladies ambao wamekutana kwa pamoja kuweza kujifunza lakini pia kuweza kujuana kutambulishana vitu gani ambavyo inabidi wafanye kama watoto wa kike of course ni niko na dada yangu ambaye atanielezea dhumuni la event ya leo lakini pia malengo yalikuwa ni nini of course by the way uh, unaitwa nani dada naitwa dada Naomi uh, Naomi Shimba and on Instagram naitwa Mimi Inspire so you can check me there Uh, tumekuja kwenye uh, ile tukio leo labda ungeweza kuelezea tukio na uso nini na what's the main content ya kuepo kwenye event hii ya leo. Uh, yes, uh, Sante, um, we are help to help na our main mission is to change the world and we do that in multiple ways and one is to make sure that we transform um, jamii ya watoto wa kike kuweza kujitambua zaidi, kuweza kujua nini ni malengo ya maisha yao. Lakini specifically this week tumespend kujifunza um, IT skills kwa sababu tumeona kuna uhitaji mkubwa na kutokana na research ambazo zimefanyika inaonekana watu wa nyuma wako nyuma sana by 40% kwenye access ya technology katika utumiaji and this is very important kwa sababu ina affect chances zao za kuweza kupata kazi ina affect uh, kujiamini uh, so we have been doing that during the week to make sure that tuna increase ile self esteem tunawapa uwezo wa kuweza kujiamini kujitambua and wamejifunza IT skills and today we are making the end of the activity. Nimechukua muda gani labda tangia mnaanza mpaka leo? Ah generally ama this specific activity. Generally we started in 2015 uh, is when we did our very first activity. We've been doing it in every every year. So this is our fifth year in a row and this is our sixth boot camp. Actually so we have impacted like directly um 600 uh, female student and graduates on IT skills but they have been also doing mini IT boot camps so come a vile version ya IT boot camp but they can shorten it and pick specific topics suppose maybe word ama excel and they do the same so in total we have reached more than 500 more than 500,000 uh, yes you Yes, asante kwa swali nzuri sana. Tumekutanisha vijana kutoka vyo kumi Tanzania and this is an open opportunity. Hatuchagui chuo specific. So as long as wewe ni mwanafunzi wa chuo, as long as hauna skills hizi, you are warmly and most welcome to our activities. But we usually since tuna focus kwenye IT so watu ambao wanasoma IT they don't come as participants kwa maana ya wao kuja kujifunza lakini it's an opportunity for them to build their leadership skills to build their organization skills so they become as trainers or they become as mentors so in this week for instance the ones that they have been moderating they have been training others are the one from ni wanafunzi pia ambao wanasoma ma, masomo haya ya kiinjinia like wanasoma ICT so they have deep understanding and, and knowledge on on the top content ni msimani wa kawatano tangia mmeanza kufanya hii kitu sasa this is Dar es Salaam sasa sijajua mnafanya kwa kuzunguka Tanzania nzima ama ni kafla ambayo nafanyikaga kwa Dar es Salaam kukutanisha kwa vyote Tanzania yes asante sana kwa swali nzuri our model actually inajaribu ku capture uh, nchi nzima we can't be everywhere like physically kwa sababu pia kuna changamoto kubwa ya uh, facilities because for a model to work we need to have every single participant to sit on their own computer so and unajua vyo vyetu <laughs> facilities kidogo ni changamoto kwa hiyo we have been doing in the some like for four years and last year we did in Dodoma and we'll be there like in September we'll do another another boot camp like this so at least that is our second Place, but we have done um mini IT boot camps ambazo pia zimegeza like more than 100 uh, participant in in Mbeya University so we are trying to be everywhere and we have also been in Kilimanjaro we did mini IT boot camp like three times 
with more than 100 participants. So we are trying to be everywhere. And as I've said, we are doing the best to make sure the message goes out to all universities so it doesn't end up to have the same students from the same universities because we want ile pia mchanganyiko wa watu unakuwa na perspective tofauti tofauti. Do these skills consider on ladies so? No really, but in the main main boot camp where we, we, we do it for six days, we only have girls kwa sababu as I've said and you can be the witness wanawake ndi waathirika wakubwa wa kutokuwa na confidence kukimbilia opportunity ni wazito uh, waathirika wakubwa wa gender issues so tuna focus kwa hizi siku sita na watoto wa kike tu lakini in our mode of mini at boot camp as I've said earlier ambayo inakuwa labda ni 2 days 3 days and we try to have specific content labda ni excel um, pale tunachanganya gender zote lakini pia the most important thing that you should know uh, tukisema IT modo yetu haimaanishi sasa wiki nzima walikuwa wanasoma tu IT 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 no tunaunganisha vitu vingi sana wamejifunza jinsi ya kuandika CV we bring in professions to come and talk with them from reputable like experts we had an expert HR from um Pivotech amekuja na share kwamba okay what is really take to be employed ujianda eje like you get the tips we have been talking about entrepreneurship like how you can construct your idea we have been talking about cyber crime so we bring in the expertise on the area to talk and see how you protect yourself when you i like a lot of things have been happening lakini hiyo it ndio the main thing wanakuwa kwenye lab kwa we have session where we they get other soft skills ambazo zinasaidia kwa build what's the future of this the future is to make sure that every single girl has got the knowledge and uh, in the afternoon, for instance, we, are having, uh, we had a session where we want to look how are we going to take this further together with the students. As I said, uh, we want to have a health effect. And before we plant a seed on you, you will be like a little So we, 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 we create a model that makes sure that with minimum resources, we still do the maximum uh, impact. So we are still there and we will continue to be there and I've said for those who are watching uh, in September we are going to have the same same kind of activity like this boot camp for six days in Dodoma with different different kind of content I would say yeah what, uh, what's your last word uh, concerning this project and to tell all the ladies who are watching this my very last to tell or my message allow me to send two messages yes one is kwa vijana wote uh, i would like to tell you that huko bado chuoni ni mwanafunzi take all the opportunity kujiandaa hakikisha kwamba uh, unajijengea uwezo unajiongezea uwezo unajiongezea samani kwa sababu it's really tough outside sasa kama unaisi ni kipanga sana darasani you have stretch A's mko kama mimi ambao mna Straight A's. Sasa ukimaliza when you come to me and you ask me to give a job, nitakuuliza una nini cha ziada. So hakikisha you use your time wisely. Uwezi ukabata ukiwa batoni. I mean uwezi ukajiandaa ukiwa vitani, unajiandaa kabla. So kama bado uko choni this is your time. Grab opportunity jenga uwe bora zaidi. Kwa watoto wa kike kama tunasema ni 50-50 ama tumekuwa tunaimba equal to like this all week na ilikuwa ni wiki ya wanawake duniani. It doesn't come from the blues. Si ndivyo? comes with responsibility. Mtoto akikahikisha unachukua uh, majukumu yako. Hakuna mtu atakufanyia uh, majukumu yako. Ukiona majukumu ni magumu and unajaribu kukimbia utafute uh, alternative. Labda nitapata mpenzi ambaye tayari ameshajiweka sawa. Uh, atanisaidia like nitakuwa nime, nimetoa ile majukumu. Doesn't work like that. Majukumu ni magumu kwa kila mtu. Mwana, mtoto wa kiume anafeel the same. Kwa hiyo mwisho wa siku you are not solving the problems that you utakuwa unaongeza matatizo add value to education ambayo baba yako na mama yako they have sacrificed a lot kuhakikisha kwamba unaenda shuleni so make sure you are respecting that kwa kuhakikisha kwamba unakuja kuifanyia kazi kabla ya kusema kwamba nakimbilia kuolewa and all that as shortcuts thank right, you thanks so for much. your time see you next time mama corona we protect corona see you next time by the way i, I go by the name chance tease a day behind the camera is learning 20 underscore follow me on instagram See you next time when you see me.